So there I was, uh, senior year in high school, and I knew that I wanted to end like with a bang. So I decided to join the Students Run LA program, and in this program uh, like it helps students to complete the LA Marathon. So this is the shoe that I ran the marathon with, and this is the medal that I got at the end of the finish line. And what the shoe represents, um, you know, everybody has them. You know, we walk, we ran with them, and it's just a central part of our lives. And this medal represents that, like that, I don't know, it's, it represents months of hard work. And, you know, looking at it, like it makes me like think back and, you know, say like, wow, you know, like I have done, I have done this and, you know, it's just, sorry. Like it's, uh, it's a commemorative thing. So uh, my thesis is like if you believe you can do something that nobody else thinks you can, like you can do it, you know. Uh, for example, me. Okay. So uh, what I would like to talk about is uh, the story of the marathon and where this culture began, and then I would like to talk about a little bit of uh, how I became part of it. Uh, so uh, this culture began back in ancient Greece with the Greeks, and this man uh, he was. Well, okay, look, the story is, back in the days, there was no form of, you know, uh, FedEx, USPS, no form of text messaging or email. So they had to communicate by people who would ran to get messages throughout. So back when no form of technology existed, uh, men, I mean people, well, especially men, they would uh, have them run from point A to point B to deliver messages. And this man, uh, Philippides, he was the chosen runner to go to uh, to go to, to Athens to uh, say uh, to deliver the news about the about the victory of the war between the Greeks and the Persians. And well, many runners look up to him as a symbol of uh, perseverance. And you know, this, he ran from like Marathon, Marathon City, which is where the name comes from. Uh, he ran from Marathon to Athens, and the total was about 25 miles. And later on, there, uh, I think it was 19, early 1920s, that they changed it to 26.2 um, because the royal, the royal family wanted to uh, see the runners finish and start in the royal family in London. So after, so but going back to Philippines, after running 25 miles from Marathon to Athens, he dropped dead. So. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't have any form of shoes. He ran in sandals, uh, some sort of Nike sandals or something. And, uh, <laughs> so yeah, like and we look, but, you know, you see this man. He didn't have anything, and yet he ran to deliver the news about the victory of the Persians. So yeah, now that I've like told you guys a bit about the story, um, now the culture, like it's been over by now. Well, since 1896 in Athens, uh, people have been uh, people have been running this now like an athlete, like, like a game. And for 118 years, people have run the marathon. And according to Runners World, uh, which is a website where you know, it's information about running, uh, according to it, uh, 541,000 people have run the marathon in the U.S. alone in 2013. And now that I have told you guys a bit about the history of the culture, I would like to say how I uh, am part of this culture. So like I said, back in high school, like, I, you know, I was not the most fittest person to run the marathon ever. And, you know, I wanted to do something for myself. And coming from a family that is not, coming from a family that's not such a healthy family, you know, I have history of, like, my grandparents with diabetes and heart disease and cancers and everything. So like the marathon for me was uh, doing something for myself, taking care of myself. And um, this medal, uh, when I got it, you know, it represents months of hard work. And to believe that I, that I did something that not a lot of people do, uh, it's something very inspiring. And um, yeah. So now that I have told you a bit about the history and how I connect myself with it, uh, I would like to encourage you all to uh, join this uh, it's not tough. I mean, it's not easy. It's tough, um, but it can be done. And you know, it just takes your guts. So you can do it. Uh, I explained the legendary person of uh, Philippides and how he ran with Nike sandals 
to deliver the news and how 